Hello and welcome back to the channel again. Earlier on I did rebuild all four calipers of my V6 Omega. I add new brake hoses, did new brake lines, etc. But there was also a lot of things to do with the car's exterior. There was rust and nasty rust repairs in three of the doors of this car. And we're looking at right now the driver's side rear door. As you can see, previous owner has brushed some paint there, probably alcudic or hammer paint, which is not suitable for this use. And the sheet metal underneath that paint, it's pretty crispy and definitely needs new welding. And I have to weld new sheet metal in order to fix that properly. Here is an example of the passenger side rear door. Same thing going on down here. Some brush paint and I guess this probably needs welding too because there's pretty crispy metal underneath that paint. By a quick look, the passenger side front door doesn't look that bad after all. But there is still rust down there in the bottom section of the door and that needs to be taken care out and like the rest of the doors also this one needs a new fresh paint I've already fabricated a new replace part for the door it's been tacked on but I need to keep going on and continue welding Finally got this one welded and the passenger side too. Only thing I need to do next is to put some cheap primer for temporary protection. All the prep work before primer has now been done and it was pretty easy. I just sped some body filler and sand everything down to flat and look out all the sharp edges and possible imperfections and sand them down. There was only surface rust in the passenger side front wing but I still spread some body filler to it also because there was grinding marks that needs to be covered up before primer paint. Same here also with passenger side front door, only surface rust. The rust behind the door, the inner side, I used some acid to neutralize it from deeper from the metal. So this should be ready also for primer paint. The primer work has been done now and there was few issues while doing it. I got a couple runs to epoxy primer paint and the acrylic filler wasn't that smooth. So I need to wet sand all of the panels through, but right now they are ready for base coat and clear coat. I finally got all of these three doors painted and also the front wing. And I spread three layers of water base and four layers of clear coat. And I'm pretty happy with the ending result. It shines okay and color is nice, as you can see. I always use same kind of method while spraying this kind of paint. The first layer of water base I do spray kind of a partly covering and then wet layer and the last layer is spread from further away. And when it comes to clear coat the first layer is dry and the rest ones after it are wet layers to give me maximum shine and gloss without getting runs. All and on, right now all the doors are finished and only thing I need to do is to install them back to car and get the whole thing to MOT.
Got the DOS installed back to the car. And look how lovely it came. It shines beautifully. The color matches the rest of the car. I'd say it's absolutely bang on. Just a quick wheel from the driver's side too. Isn't that nice? By the way, if somebody wonders why I have this alarming clock in my garage and there's a purpose for it, I use it kind of indicate the time, how much I have to wait between layers and it's perfect tool for that. I can see the minutes and start to spread another layer when the window is full for the drying time. And if someone asks which kind of compressor I'm using, here's the answer. It's an entry-level 3 horsepower compressor, but it does its job well.